welcome back everybody. Glad you're here. Thanks for checking us out, seeing what we're up to today. Got a little project lined up. I say a little project, probably gonna take me a couple days. Um, I've been sawing up some lumber over here. I don't know if I can find that beam. There's one of them right here. It's a six by six beam. Got a couple more in a pile over here somewhere. And my plan is, um, I've owned this sawmill now. This is the uh, Norwood LM30. And I've had it now for about a year, had it set up. I don't have a whole lot of hours on it. Uh, I think I put my time meter on about, I've got about 10 hours on that. And I'll probably have at least another 10 on, on top of that. So probably less than uh, 50 hours, somewhere around 25, I'm guessing. I've uh, had a lot of fun running this sawmill, really enjoy it, really like to spend more time doing it, just been busy with other projects and trying to figure out in my head how to get this uh, set up. Did some more expansion in the log yard here to get a couple of videos on that as far as just trying to make more room. Got a bunch of pallets over here, I gotta get spread out, that's gonna hold my lumber. But today, I'd really like to do some uh, upgrades to the sawmill here. Some of you may have seen a video where I and put this sawmill after I had already set it up once. I moved it over here from another location in the yard. Basically used the same kind of setup, but I basically have under here is a couple of pallets uh, end to end. Now this, this mill is 20 feet long. I've added the four foot extension to it. So it's a little longer now than it was when I moved it here, but I had already planned on extending it. So I made the platform here a little bit longer in anticipation of adding that four foot section. Overall, I'm not real happy with this platform. Decided that I'm going to go ahead and try to replace this again. I'm going to use these 6x6 six six beams that I just recently cut. I'm going to use those as my main support under the sawmill. I'll be using these bottom for another project. They lock together. They kind of all lock in place so that they make a platform that's uh, really, really, you can drive over it. and It's a pretty neat product. Now, last time I moved this, I ended up removing the whole head and separating that and then carrying the rail as a separate piece. Today, I think what I'm going to try and do is leave the head on the rail. I am going to separate it. My plan is to unbolt it and move it in two sections. Hopefully, I can disassemble it right here, kind of break it, so to speak, from, from this piece. And then I'll tie the head down and I can carry that in one piece and then carry this in another piece. I'm trying to get this done. It's late. Like I said, it's October 31st. The ground isn't frozen yet, so I want to really try and get this done now before it gets too much colder. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I just gotta get these feet unbolted from the deck. All right, so I got it unbolted and I got it in two parts. I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna strap this down and I'm gonna use the Mahindra forks and uh, figure out how I'm gonna pick it up. But I know, now I know I can pick this up in two pieces. I have it split right here so I can get it out of the way. Once that's out of the way, then I can go ahead and start carrying this deck out of here. Anyway, next step is to lock this down, get the tractor fired up. A little different method than last time. Last time I moved the whole head right off of onto a pallet and picked up the whole pallet and moved the whole pallet. This time I'm going to try and pick everything up including the rail at the bottom. Right, let's see what happens. Well, 
one pretty easy. Not too bad at all. Actually, that worked out real well. Pretty sturdy right there on the pallet for now. Won't be there long, hopefully. And now I gotta go ahead and move the rest of this rail out of the way. You know, my microphone died on this clip here, but basically I'm showing you where the, uh, I, I removed the rail. I was able to remove it and uh, set it off the side. There's the head. And now I'm going to go ahead and start disassembling this platform right here. And uh, we'll get that all torn apart, taken down. That's what I'm showing you here. And we'll uh, go ahead and start getting it out of the way. Board's taken off. I'm just down to uh, two pallets now. Kind of sewed together here with these pieces of wood. I'm just going to take those off, take these pallets out of here, and uh, got a few more pieces to take apart down below. And I'll be ready to start leveling the ground. See how far we can get putting this new one back together. Yeah, really? Going good? Thank you. 